See if we can salvage this sweeper. Oh boy. Oh, right past him, white. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We are spectating the first place driver in this public hopper. I had a lot of fun doing the public drift hopper the last episode uh, a couple days ago. So I figured I'd hop back into a public drift hopper, do some more uh, online play, and see if we can't maybe take a W. But today we are going to be ripping in our ESDA Camaro, trying to get more settled into that car since I've been switching cars a lot. And uh, ESDA qualifying being a week away from Saturday. So we are definitely going to see if we can't get some uh, good seat time in this Camaro. But we are just watching the first place car rip around here at Road Atlanta. And I believe he's... Uh, Still in first. Yep. Check out the second place car right now. We got an S14 going hard. Life 420. Actually going hard actually in his name. And he's uh definitely getting sideways in that 240. So I figured I would just hop in here and spectate a couple guys as we're waiting for the lobby to end. And as I go to this guy, he's in the dirt. Uh, sorry, dude. But... Like I said, we are going to be in the ESDA Camaro trying to get more seat time with that car and uh, dial it in before ESDA round one. Long Beach, um, definitely super excited because Long Beach is this weekend for Formula Drift. And uh, I guess we're going to go into Magello or a random... I'm going to go to Magello. So like I said, I'm super excited as I hit the wrong button. Super excited to be ripping this Camaro. As you can see, the livery has changed a little bit. We're on white wheels with like a stainless um, background graphic, uh, as well as a mint green hood or roof with our number on it, 107. That's just my personal number. I may have to change it. I'm not sure. But um, ESDA, Evil Rabbit 07 on the door, Energy Innovations as well. Big shout out to Energy Innovations for always supporting me and the channel. Looking forward to running ESDA in this car. So we're trying to get some more seat time, you know, seat time in this Camaro. So what better way to do it than hop into a public drift hopper. And uh, we are going to be at Magello Autodromo Internationales. So if you guys are excited for Formula Drift starting today, actually qualifying is today. Uh, super excited to see qualifying as well as the rounds of top 32 and top 16 all the way to the winner. Uh, seeing if James Dean can, you know, take it again. Or if uh, one of my other favorite drivers, Forrest Wang, back in the FD game. Uh, super excited to see Forrest Wang back after a couple, I believe a year or two hiatus. But uh, it will be sweet to see all these cars getting sideways here at Long Beach. As well as week after we have round one qualifying for ESDA. I will be bringing you the content of my qualifying runs. And let you guys know hopefully if I do qualify for the battles the week after. Um, hopefully I do. Just going to look to have two good solid runs there. But today we are just more seat time in this Camaro. And you know what better way to do it than hop into a public hopper. Get sideways. Maybe we'll get some tandems like the FD and the other uh, hopper when we were drifting Chris Forsberg Street 370Z. So we are waiting for cars, and then we are going to go to grid, and uh, we're going to go full send in this car. We're going to get our wheel cam turned on. We got our Logitech G920 with our Energy Innovations 350 millimeter wheel, hydraulic cam brake, Logitech G920 shifter, inverted pedals down below. You can actually see them. It's a little bit brighter in my office today because uh, I'm doing this during the day, not in the evening. So you can actually see some footwork as well as the handbrake and such. So I also moved the camera a little bit back. So we are here, Autodrome. And uh, we're ready to send this Camaro. So let's see if we can uh, get a good run here and not get too uh, mixed up. It looks like we got uh, somebody rocking the uh, Odibashi's paints up there.
Uh, I'm trying to stay out of that, but we're gonna send it in. There we go. Gonna go high around him, there we go. Keep our points. Chip down this second. That guy's rubber banding everywhere, I don't know. I'm scared to go there, because I'm scared I'm gonna get hit. But we are still okay, that guy is. He's in first place, but he's rubber banding everywhere. It's a really long e-brake grab. I shouldn't be too scared about points because, you know, I am just trying to get as much seat time with this car as I can. But a W would not be a bad thing either. Hard on the brakes, there we go. Definitely getting so much more comfortable in this car with the more and more I drive it. Paint looks definitely sick in this stainless steel style paint scheme, so with that mint green roof, you know, signature to my uh, mint green wheel. That is why is that, that is there, if anybody is actually wondering why I have a mint green roof. It's just, oh, we're gonna lose that. I've just always had, I've always run this mint green energy innovations wheel. So it's become almost like a, uh, I guess a signature color here on the channel as well as my channel logo has my name in mint green so that's where the mint green comes from if you are wondering where the mint green is all from Ooh, right on that rumble strip that was actually a nice entry surprised we are really far back in the points and i it's probably because we missed that main turn in the beginning which is a huge points turn We're not doing too bad. As I say that, we lose 5K. So that is exactly why we are here, just getting seat time. A W would be nice, but uh, just as much seat time as we can get in this beautiful Camaro is uh, gonna help us in the long run here with ESDA. Give this hard flick entry there. Oh, I was hard on those brakes to try to keep those points alive so I didn't go off track. Second gear on this definitely loves second gear as well as third on this car, but I believe Long Beach, I believe I have this car set to run in second gear at the higher RPM so that I can left foot brake in tandems and still be in my RPM band. Uh, I do like running a higher RPM in this car. It just feels like the power curve is really nice up there. So that's why we are running such high gearing. And it just sounds sick when it's banging off red line. Let me see if we can't get another nice entry in on this turn. We haven't had too much issues with other cars here this uh, session, so. Except for right there. Kind of screwed me up a little bit. But we were able to somewhat make ourselves out of that. Stay smooth. This man right back there. Looks like he's getting doors with us. And that guy just made an abrupt turn. Top of the brake on the rumble strip entry, but we're good. I love the angle that this car has. It's definitely a really nice car. That's why I decided to settle with this. There was a couple other cars I was testing that I was thinking about running in the ESDA, but, you son of a, mm, okay, buddy, ah, oh, that's a sad moment, but, can't get mad at him, probably didn't see me coming, so, we're gonna just try and send it back in, we got two minutes left in this session, 
We're definitely gonna hit up an another track. Hopefully we get a good track. Sucks we aren't able to keep that reverse entry points. We're gonna link this as much as we can. I know we got somebody right behind us. Yeah, he's right there in that 240. I see you, dude. Grizzly Ben. I probably screwed him up with that entry, but we're still going. We're staying uh, consistently in eighth right now, so at least we're not dead last, which is where I don't want to be. I never like being dead last. But of course, everybody's got to start somewhere, and we just clipped the grass. What? Oh, get packed. See if we can't follow Grizzly Ben this time. The dude is hauling, though. Ooh, that was a good entry. What? That felt nice. As I go for the wrong pedal, but... Hold 10k there. This man's throwing a 360 entry? Or trying to? What? That was pretty sick. Grizzly Ben trying to throw a 360 entry in here. We got a Mustang right behind us trying to throw doors. And we're going to go too wide again. That turn always gets me, but... So we only got 25 seconds left. I don't think we're going to get into a turn, but we might get into this first turn. Try and throw his heart in. Ooh. Oh, the other Camaro got in the way right at the last second. Oh, I get wrecked. So, uh, we got ninth, I believe. Yep. So, <laughs> ooh, the front of the Camaro looks a little worse for wear. What is the next track that we're going to get a chance to run? Uh, I believe we're going to go random because I think those were both rain sections. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this seat time episode here on the Forza 7 on the wheel setup, trying to get more acclimated with my Camaro before ESDA. Are you guys going to be watching ESDA? Are you guys going to be watching live? You know, let me know down in the comment section down below. Do you not even know what ESDA is? You know, if you don't know what the ESDA is, I recommend taking a look. It's definitely a lot of, a lot of fun. It's, you know, the Pro Forza Championship drifting championship as well so and we are gonna go to maple valley in the rain uh okay so haven't really messed with this car in the rain so this is definitely going to be a interesting situation so uh i'll catch you guys when we grid up and get ready to rip this at maple valley in the rain all right we are on grid here at maple valley in the rain we got buying it junior chilling up there Grizzly Ben rocking the Vongit and Junior paint. I'm feeling this is going to turn really bad really fast. Oh my. So this car, not <laughs> very happy in the rain right now. Ow. I mean, you probably saw us spinning out, dude. But, you know, we're okay. This car is definitely very unstable right now in this rain. I think this is the first time I've actually taken this car into the rain. And uh, it's not very happy. We're going to see if we can't conquer this. And I knew that was coming. So we have absolutely barely any points. So, rain and this car. 
not 100% happy. Oh, or other cars for that matter. Try to salvage this run somewhat in the rain. Ooh, that puddle. I do not believe that my uh, tire settings or anything are really set up for this. I'm not even on throttle and it's just sliding, so. Uh, Rain, definitely a different monster in this uh, Camaro. We got X apples right there. And this BRZ, it looks like, ooh, Wu Tang Chicken. Let's see if we can salvage this sweeper. Oh boy. Ooh, right past him, what? I mean, okay, so we're going to salvage this sweeper into some sort of points there. Uh, so surprised we missed that guy, but we did, so we're good. Enter this in. Definitely car needs to, uh, you got to anticipate this because this thing will ju is just going to hit one of those puddles and... It is not happy on any of these puddles. Or, and it understeers so much right now. Let's see if we can get this sweeper this time because we know it tightens up. And we lost all those points. It feels so weird being in the rain because this car just is floating. I don't know if you can see, but the front end just starts floating so much in this car. And I just gotta pedal the throttle so much, trying to not lose all control of the car. I think last time I was in the rain, it was at, at the short circuit. I think I, I got a podium finish. I may have got a win at a rain circuit, but this is, uh, whoever's in first is definitely uh, a dang good driver in the rain. Because that happens, I'm trying not to completely wreck my car. <laughs> Ooh. So if you guys have never taken a car like this in the rain, you definitely need to try it. This is a whole nother discipline right now. Being able to shred in the rain like this kind of makes me want to practice more in the rain. I thought that dude was going to dive into that wall. We got that sweeper on lock though. He's rocking a quad rotor FD though. There we go. Getting a bit more used to this now. Kind of getting the hang of how this car drives in the rain. You could throw a lot of angle, that's for sure. Ooh. I thought that man, I thought that man was going to hit me. See if we can get this now. We're on a pretty decent run. Don't lose those points. We have to shorten up our angle now. Break down this hill. There we go. I mean, that's how to hold 13 large there. Definitely getting the hang of it now in the rain. Wall tap. I really hope that there is no 
the SDA round in the rain because that would be definitely insane and uh, I can see a lot of accidents happening if this is in the rain. It would definitely make for a very interesting uh, interesting run though. I think this FD guy is following, trying to follow me. Staying back there and giving me space, which is awesome that, you know, there's people online that will do that. Surprised we linked that. Come back out on the track. That FD is just sending it back there. Oh, you hit the wall. We are in fourth, though. I'm actually very surprised that we are anywhere near podium. But we are getting the hang of this in the rain, though. If we would have gotten the hang of this in the beginning, we probably could have been in fight for uh, podium. But that guy is definitely way up there in points. Because I'm, you know, almost a hundred k behind. He's using the brake and the weight. There we go. That was that was nice. Ooh. Hold that last 11k before the run ends so we are going to get ourselves in fourth on that track so that was definitely an awesome run and I think we are going to get one more seat time run here we just unlocked another achievement Forza showing off 2014 Corvette Super Sport or Chevette Super Sport? Did we just get another achievement? What did we get? Where is it? There it is. Oh, nice. So we did get another car. I feel like we are going to do another build episode on that new achievement car. So that was uh, very unexpected. I should probably check the Forzathons to see, you know, exactly you know what it is the Forzathons are so we are going to do Lime Rock I think we're going to get to rip Lime Rock one time before the end there it is Show off, showing off we did complete that one as well as that we got to go back to the main menu to accept that which I will do before the end of this episode so there is another one for the Porsche Cayenne a Porsche Macan Turbo or a snake skin driver's gear. So we're about to grid up. Do -do 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 -do.